guys, welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Sydney Johnson, also known as Browse by Sid, and this is the Brow Channel, where you can learn everything you need to know about eyebrows. So today's video, I wanted to walk you through my microblading setup. So how I prep, how I do my mapping setup, and then how I clean up for that, and then prep for microblading. So I kind of want to show you just the whole setup, all the products I use, how I make sure everything's really clean and sanitary, and ready to go for success. So here we go. Okay, so here is my blank tray. The first thing I'm going to do is line my tray with a trash bag liner. Okay, so the reason that I like to line my tray with a small trash bag liner is because it protects all of the edges. All of these edges are protected, so when I reach to grab my tray with my gloves on to pull it towards me, push it away, or if I accidentally brush the side of it, it's all protected and it's still staying sanitary. It also makes for really easy cleanup because when I'm finished, I'll dispose of my blade in a sharps container and then I'll literally just grab the edges, pull it off, and wrap everything up. The next thing I'm gonna do is place a dental bib over the top. Obviously that protects the top of the tray. Now I'm ready to go to set up for my mapping. So I'm gonna do a couple of alcohol prep pads to clean their brows off and then also to erase lines and kind of fix smudges and things like that during the process. I'm gonna have a stack of cotton rounds that I can use, again, just to like dry things off, wipe, all of that stuff during the mapping process. Of course, my gloves. And then I'm gonna have a handful of micro swabs for fine detail cleaning. That way I can really get in there and adjust lines and things as needed. I'm gonna have a tinkle razor for cleaning things up. After I've kind of solidified my shape, I can clean all my excess hair up with my tinkle razor. I've got my squeeze bottle with my ink, soap, and distilled water mixture. I'll put this on cotton rounds and micro swabs to help clean things up. And then, of course, I'm gonna have my pre-inked mapping string, which I'll link below for you guys. But I'll just pull this off and get it all ready. So I've got a piece ready for us. And then the box in case I need extra. Of course, I've got my ruler to make sure everything's really even. I've got my Sharpie pencil ready to go. I've got razor blades so I can resharpen my pencil as needed. And then of course a brow brush just to kind of continually brush things up. And then I'm going to grab everything that I need for numbing as well and place it on my tray. So for my pre-num, kind of my primary numbing, I'm going to be using Num Master. This is my go-to numbing. So I'm gonna use that. I have a plastic disposable spatula so that I can dip in to my numbing and not have it get contaminated. And then, of course, I have my little plastic wrap. And this, of course, I'll pull out when I place their numbing on and cut off with that little cutter there to secure their brows, to protect their shape. And it helps lock in the heat around the numbing cream, which helps them to numb a little bit better. So there is my mapping setup. This is everything that I'm gonna have ready before they come in the door. Everything that I'm going to need to map, clean up, and numb their brows. And then while they're numbing, I will transform this tray and get it ready for the actual microblading process. Okay, so now at this point, I've taken everything off, cleaned it, sanitized it, and put it away. And now I only want everything that I need to microblade on my tray. So I've left on there their brow brush and a few micro swabs and then my leftover cotton rounds because I can still use those as well. And now I'll get everything else that I need to microblade them. So I'm going to layer at the top of my tray. I'm gonna kind of layer out my cotton rounds. These ones I'll be spraying with ink soap. So I like to have kind of some lined out that will be covered in ink soap and then a dry stack as well. 
And then I'll get out a couple of just my pure water wipes and I'll set those in the corner as well. There we go. And then like I said, I like to cover things in ink soap, so I'll just spray like the bottom half of my cotton rounds with ink soap and do a light spray over my water wipes as well. And then I'll get my mask and my gloves, of course, for sanitary safety reasons. All right, and then I'm gonna get a disposable lip wand to kind of add to my little disposable section. I'll use that to work the pigment in. I've got a silicone pigment cup for my pigment. You could also use like one of the ring holders. I just prefer it on my tray in a silicone cup like that. And then a little tiny disposable cup that I will place my Tag 45 secondary numbing in. So I'll just fill that up to the top. All right, and then of course, the main players of the show, I've got my double-sided hand tool, disposable hand tool here, I'll link these below as well, but I've got my hand tool, and then I've got my bowler aesthetics blade, I'll be using a slant blade today, and I'll be using the .15 millimeter 10 slant blade today. So once I'm ready to go and I have my gloves on, I'll load my blade into my hand tool, and when she's done numbing, I will color match her and place my pigment into my silicone cup there. Throw away, obviously, like the trash from this and this and any used micro swabs, keeping everything really clean on my tray and only having on there what I really need. And then I'll be good to go. I'll be ready to microblade. So that is my whole setup process. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start microblading. Thanks for following along. I hope that that was helpful. Obviously you can see I do the two different tray setups um, and sanitation is very, very important. So it's important to keep like the plastic bag around it and keep everything just really clean, wipe everything off after use, dispose of things that are meant to be disposed of, all of that stuff. So again, I hope this was helpful. I will link everything below in the comments. Let me know if you have any other questions. Leave a comment on this video or you can drop a comment on my latest Instagram post and let me know if this was helpful or if you have any further tray setup questions. And just make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss anything. Bye.